you are an LLM developer, there is a happy news for you. The API war just got very interesting with Google slashing its price for their best model. This is quite an insane news because Google is the only model provider which has got a huge amount of context window. The context window is the short term memory of this LLM that is very critical for the LLM to have some good understanding of what is happening within context, which we call as in context learning. And not a lot of LLMs have got large context window and Google Gemini 1.5 Pro, Google Gemini 1.5 Flash are these models with large context window. Google has decided to upgrade these models to two new versions and they've also slashed the price. Let's get started and understand what are the announcements that Google made today that can benefit you as a developer. The most important news, the headline news that you should be paying attention to is that the Gemini 1.5 Pro, the latest model starting October 1st, 2024, for less than 128,000 tokens. The previous rate was $3.5 and now it is just $1.25 five dollars for one million tokens so if you wait to process one million token this must be the cheapest option that you have got now remember google has also got context caching we're not talking about context caching here so output token from 10.5 dollars it reduced it to 2.5 dollars that's a massive massive reduction now if your requirement is greater than 128,000 token window which you will not even see on open ai there are certain modes that google gemini has got i mean google's team i think is doing a terrible job of marketing themselves but if you were to see google gemini 1.5 pro this is the only model that can process videos this is the only model that can take a video and also process the audio clip uh, from the video and also use the video frame and then process it it's an excellent model with the long context window quite good for a lot of different use cases and this model, if you were to use it for greater than 128,000 tokens, for example, let's say you want to have a UGC analyzer, like you want to see which video would go viral, which video would not go viral. You want to build an application like that. This model for greater than 128,000 token window, now context window. So this uh, from $7, now they've made it to $5. From $21, they've made it to $10. And this is a... Uh, this is great reduction in pricing, not just that they reduce the price of the model, but it also comes with a new model in itself. So you can see the Gemini 1.5 Pro September 2024 version, which is like the second version of what they launched in May 2024. It has got improvement across the benchmarks, the MMLU Pro, not MMLU. MMLU Pro, there is a 6 percentage point improvement. In terms of code, there's a 3 percentage point improvement. In terms of math from 67%, this is 86%. I mean, we can test the model later on, but generally this is a better model in terms of a lot of different cases. But the improvement is not only from the language parts. Remember, I told you this is a multimodal model. It can handle both images and also text. So if you see the image part, so the MMMU, I think this is the multimodality equivalent of MMLU that has improved from 62% to 65% on Math Vista, 63% to 68%. So this is a model, this is a benchmark that OpenAI also used to show that Owen model is great. So across all these benchmarks, this new model is doing better. The improvement is not only in cost, improvement is not only because there is a new model that is better performance. Also, Google has decided to increase the rate limit. If you are not an LLM developer, if you are not an AI developer, you would not know the critical uh, business critical of this. So if you make calls to an LLM endpoint like Gemini, there is only a certain amount of number of calls that you can make in a given time period, like for a minute. And this is very critical as you scale your business up. So for example, you've got 1000 customers live uh, at the same time and everybody's making a call. So that means 1000 call, let's say per second. If the rate limit is lower, then you would not be able to make this many calls and you would not in turn be able to b scale up your business. And that is why this is business critical and it is even further critical for enterprises. Sometimes you want to have chat, uh, chat means multiple conversation, multiple calls. So this is business critical. And what Google has decided to do is for Gemini 1.5 flash, they have increased it to 2000 uh, RPM and for Gemini 1.5 Pro, they have increased it to 1000 RPM. So that is like 1000 calls per minute. And previously it was from 1000 to 360. So it was 360, now it became 1000 and Gemini 1.5 Flash previously was 1000 and now it is 2000. That is a great increase. One more improvement Google has done. It seems like Google is doing everything right, except probably they should hire me for product marketing. Google, can I send you my resume? So it is going to be two times faster for output and it, it's, it's going to have three times lesser latency. So what does it mean? So when you make a call, uh, so the user is sending a message 
and the Gemini is responding back. The difference, the time difference is what we call as a latency. They've reduced the latency as you can see here on September 22nd uh, for a Gemini 1.5 flash, I guess this one is, the latency has dropped previously which was like from 1.4, now it is 0.2.3 and the output has also increased because of course if you reduce the latency you're going to increase the throughput that means you're going to generate more number of tokens in a given um, time period. So um, the model has become faster, the model can generate more tokens, the model can, you can call the model a lot of times, rate limits, the model is much cheaper and the model is much more effective. So these are the improvements that Google has announced today and um, these are like the new endpoints which they call as Gemini 1.5 Pro 002, Gemini 1.5 Flash. 002 and uh, I'm quite excited to see this and start uh, trying to use this for the use cases. One of the, I think one of the first thing that I'm going to do is PDF processing and uh, like rag from videos. Uh, these are two use cases I wanted to build and this is the perfect API for us to use that and then build it. Let me know what do you think about these changes in Google? Are you still thinking that Google has got a terrible model? But anyways, I'm, I'm, I'm really glad that the, the team made these things and uh, wanted to see what you feel about it. See you in another video. Happy prompting.